He's got his damn. He's tired. Tired. That's tired. That's tired. That's tired. Well, I ran out of battery, uh, so I've switched uh, phones here. Uh, but as you can see, live here in Houston, Texas, late at night, um, there was a lady driving a car, uh, driving obviously uh, quite recklessly, possibly, due to how much damage was done. Uh, she's knocked out about probably 10 holes, a bus stop, about five vehicles, including her own, and a burrito truck. Um, miraculously, uh, she's going to be all right. Uh, looks like she's going to be all right. Uh, she was alive and alert, and they, they, they took her to the hospital. But um, I've seen quite a few wrecks in my day but I've never seen anybody to take out uh, grass, poles. I mean, there's, there's chunks of grass missing right here. There's poles underneath this tow truck. There's debris all the way down the street. And as I walk up about 200, maybe 200 feet, uh, there's light signs everywhere on the ground. Um, there's cars over there damaged. Um, there's just, uh, it's just absolutely, absolutely in bad shape. You want to be on? Did y'all see this at all? Did y'all see what happened? Would you say it's pretty bad? It was so bad. Yeah. Terrible. But she was working. She was working? She was working. She was working. Yeah. Came out. Came out. She, she's, she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. I've seen a lot of wrecks. I've never seen a wreck this bad in a long time. You know? And she's wrong. Huh? She's wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, this is one of those instances where having property insurance really matters. You know? Uh, Something like this happened like a few, few days ago. Yeah, what? Well, same, same over here? That's why Richmond looked like that. The blood is a mystery. Oh, for, I just noticed that. It's uh, Rickman. Rickman? <laughs> it's Rickman. Uh, well, I saw a car completely burned up on the freeway about five days ago. I don't know if it's related to that guy that shot at the family with the AK-47 and the firecrackers went off. Yeah, the firecrackers went off in the car and uh, burned the car down. But I've seen a lot of wrecks in the last seven days. And... Um, you guys work in the area? Yeah. You mean you mentioned it's much bigger? Nice talking with you. Um, so once again, uh, I'm going to put it up later. Um, watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> we, we got a character right here. Yeah. Would you, would you say this is a bad wreck? Uh, this is really bad. It is. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's very bad. It is. Look how much mess. I was guesstimating how fast she could have been going to do all this. I would think at least 90 miles an hour. No, they said no. she was going 45. That's, That's it? That is going to cause oh, really? more than this. That's what they say. Hey, whoever got it. Let's go, let's go, Billa. Let's go. Get this truck out of the room. Alright. Yeah, come on. Hello. Well, 45. I don't think so. I think more like 95 to 100. Uh, let's focus on the burrito truck. Um, This is a pretty bad wreck. Well, you saw the one from last time, right? No, I heard uh, the, uh, those people I was just talking to said uh, uh, 
uh, there was one a few days ago that was pretty bad. It caught on fire, dropped that whole that thing from there. The car caught on fire. I don't know what it is about this street to where people drive so fast and carelessly. You see, that? You see how when they come fast from there and they take that turn, they they kind of like slip off and they lose control. Because oh, you're saying turn. when they come down here, yeah, if they're going right about 70, yeah. they have 50, to be 60. 60. Yeah, but that's still fast for an avenue. I mean, it's or is it? nobody goes 35 here. Yeah, yeah. I've seen people do 150 on this avenue. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you later, man. Hey, man, good to see you. Wow, it's a small, big world. Small, big world. I wish I could buy that old truck I sold you about 10 years ago. Where is that, in Mexico? No, we sold it to somebody here, I think. If I could find it, that would be What nice. was it? I forgot it. It was a classic Dodge truck. Oh, yeah. That's gone. No single. Well, it's a small, big world. Saw a guy sold a classic truck I built 14 years ago. Uh, but anyway, here, uh, live here in Houston, lots of damage and debris. Trying to pick up some of this debris, trying to participate in this. Just terrible. Absolutely terrible. some of this glass mm. slide this over Oof. Uh -oh. might have got that in my foot Didn't... just I hate glass being on the road because I see why nobody picks it up but when you run over it and pop your tire it's... okay This street is utterly destroyed. Uh, well, just to recap, here live in Houston, Texas, on Richmond Avenue, Tangle Wild. Um, Tangle Wild area. It's been a terrible accident where a lady took out everything. Utterly destroyed. Uh, Debris all around the street. Just thought I'd get some good footage of everything. But it, ironically, this is kind of a, uh, this is kind of a, uh, I guess in a way, this is kind of a reflection of people's lives today. And country is just scattered it's broken it's being dismantled we really need to pray and uh, unify to try to get this city and this country I mean this country as a whole back to uh, back together uh, this country really needs to repent of its trifling and ugly, uh, simple ways. I mean, that all of us are struggling with from pride to vanity to power to greed, especially the greed. I mean, there's just so much wealth and uh, so many people struggling right now uh, financially. Uh, the rent is just too dang high, man. The rent, the mortgages, it just, the math doesn't add up. The jobs, the pay too little. Um, the banks need to loan money more. They need to put people in a position of where they can survive and maintain. And, and um, it's just, it's just bad. This is a reflection. This is, look at this. This is a reflection. This is a reflection, a 
of our current state and status as a country. This is what we've become, scattered, broken, in shambles, in pieces, just families broken, relationships broken, the workplace broken. It's just absolutely in shambles. It's just in shambles. It's just terrible. This is a reflection. America needs to come back to its roots. We need jobs. We need to improve our jobs. We need to get rid of all this racism and hatred. Racism, racism, racism. Blame, blame, blame. Stinginess, selfishness, greed. Stinginess, selfishness, greed. You got men with hundreds of millions, even billions of dollars. And they act like they're broke and they're poor. How are you going to show off like a rich man and you can't even give to the poor? You can't even provide housing that's affordable. You can't even do things for people. You know? Stinginess. Selfishness. People just barely getting by right now. Nervous of how they're going to pay their bills. Managers just taking advantage of their employees just so that they can keep their little bubble so they can keep their bubble and their little uh, $300,000 house together and their lifestyle their escalades and their little toys and every and then you stealing from all your employees you treat them bad you cheat them on bonuses uh, everybody's just being selfish and greedy greedy and selfish and stingy just just stingy Tickets are a thousand bucks, five hundred bucks. You know, it's take you know, some people that's two weeks pay. You know, the math isn't adding up. The math is not adding up in America. The balance, the scales are off. The scales are off. You got men walking around smoking five thousand dollar cigars and you got families about to be on the street or already on the street. Country needs to wake up. This this is a this is a reflection of our country right now. It's broken. It's racist. It's broken. It's ugly. There's not enough. There's there's not enough money flowing around. There's there's major cities not like ours. Our city's kind of still hanging in there. Houston got money. You know what I'm saying? But there are other. Our country is not doing this good. And this is a reflection of how America, lady just, she just ran into everything. She ran into about four cars. Oh, from there. Mm-hmm, totaled her car and hit the burrito truck and took down about 10 signs and a light on the way. So she just, uh, she went for it. She, she, she went for it. I'm curious to know what kind of car it is because I'm impressed uh, on the way it was built. I, I hope I can I'm trying to figure out how I can drive out of here without tearing up my car. Um, yeah, but um, this is a reflection once again of America. And uh, let's see what she was driving. What the heck is that? So this is one of America's worst car accidents. Uh, it's definitely. It, it definitely gives America uh, car accidents a run for its money. This is the car right here being towed. Uh, wow, it's a Hyundai. Well, we all know Hyundai. Uh, that, that makes sense. Hyundai is a great car maker. They have great robots that make their vehicles. Now it makes sense. Cars are made out of carbon steel. Now it makes sense, yeah. I was curious what kind of car could do that much damage. Now it makes a little sense. Um, Koreans use carbon steel like American cars do. And uh, this Hyundai, as you can see, uh, 
this Hyundai uh, took a beating. It, uh, this Hyundai, uh, my God, this Hyundai deployed about every airbag. Hey, are you involved in an accident? Um, I'm leaving. Okay. All right. I'll leave right. Yeah, Have a good one. All right, you too. Let me go around here. Um, as you can see, that Hyundai has uh, been hit on every level. Well, y'all have a good night and God bless. Um, God bless.